The closure of Ramazan is around the corner and the Ramazan ceasefire in Kashmir is also about to end. There haven't been any major encounters between militants and security forces during this time period. So will the relative calm which was witnessed during the last few days continue in Kashmir? News 18 explains. First of all, the current spell of peace initiated by the center in Kashmir is technically not a ceasefire. Officials describe it as a suspension of operations. It only means that security forces will not conduct as many cordon and search operations unless they have pinpoint intelligence. This has worked till now because apart from the incidents at the border, the situation in the hinterlands have been largely peaceful. Except two deaths of a civilian and a security force personnel, fatalities have also been remarkably low during this period. In 2000, the then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee announced a non-initiation of combat operations. Ceasefire was first announced on November 28th, which was then extended three times till 30th May 2001. A total of 800 people, including civilians, security personnel and militants, died in various encounters during this period. An unending cycle of violence has unfolded in Kashmir since July 2016 when Hezbollah Mujahideen commander Burhan Wani was killed in an encounter. A muscular approach by the government, whose primary objective in Kashmir seemed to be crushing militancy, resulted in over 400 deaths in hundreds of encounters all over Kashmir. Some have argued that despite these losses, which include hundreds of civilians and security force personnel, the situation in Kashmir still hasn't improved. Not one big encounter has been reported in the hinterland since May 17 when suspension of operation was announced. Though security forces have fought several pitched battles on the border, where amid intense shelling, infiltration continues unabated. According to the latest data compiled by the center, as many as 23 youth have been recruited by militant groups since the beginning of this ceasefire. During the ceasefire, the encounters between security forces and the militants have come down phenomenally. Only three encounters were reported during the period. The data also shows that 18 grenade lobbying incidents were reported during the Ramazan ceasefire. Both Government of India and the Huryat agree that the next logical step has to be talks with each other. However, all the speculations on the subject will be put to an end in the coming weeks when the Government of India and the Huryat will decide whether to talk or not.